Can you sketch y equals tan x and solve tan x equal to 3 for x between 0 and 360 degrees? Press pause to try it or continue for the solution. You may have started by drawing axes and trialling a few values on the calculator. For example, tan of 90 degrees, all of which may not have been very helpful. Alternatively, you may have started with the right-angled isosceles triangle shown, where tan of 45 degrees is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side, which equals 1. In fact, multiples of 45 degrees are very useful. Think of the spokes of a wheel of radius root 2, all at 45 degrees to each other generating these multiples of 45. These values form the divisions on the horizontal axis. The vertical axis should include 1, since we know that tan 45 equals 1, up to at least 3, since we need to solve when tan of x equals 3, so we label as shown. Working out the values in the table, we start with tan 45, which we know is 1, and which is plotted on the graph. Leaving 90 degrees till later, we rotate the wheel to 135 degrees, which forms another right-angled isosceles triangle in the second quadrant, where the side opposite 45 is 1 and the adjacent side is negative 1, giving tan of 135 degrees equal to negative 1, which is then plotted on the graph. Rotating the wheel further through 180 plus 45 to give 225 degrees, now an isosceles right-angled triangle is formed in the third quadrant, so tan 225 degrees is the same as tan 45 degrees when it lies in this position. Tan 225 degrees equals negative 1 divided by negative 1, giving positive 1, which is again plotted. Rotating the wheel further to obtain an angle of 315 degrees forms a right-angled isosceles triangle in the fourth quadrant, which shows that tan 315 is equal to negative 1 divided by 1, which is negative 1, plotting this on the graph. Now we look at finding the value of tan 0 degrees, starting with a right angle triangle in the first quadrant. This time the wheel is moved clockwise, causing the angle at the centre to approach 0 degrees while still maintaining the right angle. As it does, the side opposite the angle approaches 0 and the adjacent side approaches root 2. So tan of 0 becomes 0 divided by root 2 which is naught, plotting this on the graph. Now consider tan of 90 degrees. Starting with the right angle triangle and increasing the angle at the centre while still maintaining the right angle. As the angle at the centre approaches 90 degrees, so the side opposite this angle approaches root 2 and the side adjacent to this angle approaches naught, giving tan of 90 equal to root 2 divided by naught, which is infinity. This means the value of 90 is an infinite number, and to represent this we draw an asymptote, which is a vertical line at 90 degrees. The curve gets closer and closer to this line, but never meets it. Now we find tan of 180 degrees, starting with a right angle triangle in the second quadrant and decreasing the angle at the centre of the triangle so that an angle of 180 degrees is reached. As we get closer to 180, so the side opposite in the triangle approaches 0 and the side adjacent approaches negative root 2, giving tan of 180 equal to naught divided by negative root 2 which is naught, which is plotted on the graph. Now find tan of 270 degrees. 
This time, increase the angle in the triangle so that the total angle at the centre approaches 270 degrees. As this occurs, the side opposite approaches negative root 2 and the adjacent side approaches naught, giving tan of 270 degrees equal to negative root 2 divided by naught, which is infinity. In order to show on the graph tan 270 equals infinity, draw an asymptote, that is, the vertical line that the graph gets closer and closer to but never reaches. Not forgetting that at 90 degrees the same thing happens. So now you can draw the curve. Finally, for the angle 360 degrees, consider the right angle triangle in the fourth quadrant and decrease the angle at the centre of this triangle to obtain 360 degrees. The side opposite the angle approaches zero and the side adjacent approaches root two. Therefore, tan 360 degrees equals naught divided by root two, which is naught. Remember that tan of 270 degrees is infinity when completing the curve between naught and 360 degrees. Now we come to the final part of the problem using the graph to solve tan x equals 3, which is found by drawing the line y equals 3, and where this line intersects with the curve gives the solutions. The graph is probably not sufficiently accurate to give these values, so we solve tan x equal to 3 using a calculator by finding the inverse tan of 3. This only gives the solution between 0 and 90 degrees, the first point on the curve, which is 72 degrees to the nearest degree. To find the second point on the graph, consider first the difference between corresponding points on the repeating parts. There is always a difference of 180 degrees. Applying this to the point at 72 degrees gives 180 plus 72, which is 252 degrees. So tan x equals 3 between 0 and 360 degrees when x equals 72 and 252 degrees to the nearest degree. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful.